The topic of this video is creating polynomials using their characteristics. Let's look at a problem. Create a polynomial with the following properties. Degree 3, leading coefficient 1, and the following roots and their associated multiplicities. For root negative 2, the multiplicity is 1. For root 0, the multiplicity is 1. For root 7, the multiplicity is 1. And we remind ourselves that another word for root is 0. Okay, so to begin creating our polynomial, we need to remember the factors that go with each of our roots. We learned this skill in a previous video. Let's go ahead and make another column for factors. All right, so if your root is negative 2, the factor that produced that root must be x plus 2. If your root is 0, the factor that must have produced that root is x. If your root is 7, the factor that must have produced that root is x minus 7. Okay, so now that we have our factors, we're ready to create our polynomial. We're going to call our polynomial x, uh, f of x. The multiplicity tells me how many of each factor that I need. In this case, I just need one of each. And the leading coefficient is the first thing that I would write. So the leading coefficient goes first, one, and then one of each factor. Now we begin to simplify. Anything times one is itself. So we get our final answer, f of x equals the binomial x minus 2 times an x times the binomial x, uh, excuse me, x plus 2, the binomial x plus 2 times an x times the binomial x minus 7. This is our answer in factored form. However, this problem also requires us to multiply all of these out to get our answer in standard form, so we will do that next. Order of operations says that I should work from left to right, meaning that I should first focus on multiplying this x plus 2 by this x. We'll do that using the distributive property. Okay, so distributing the x to the x plus 2, x times x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x, and because it's positive, we'll put a plus sign in between. Now this needs to be multiplied by our other factor of x minus 7 which we'll do with the FOIL multiplication method. So those will be multiplied, those will be multiplied, those will be multiplied, those will be multiplied, and then we add the results. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times subtract 7 is minus 7x squared. Add 2x times x makes add 2x squared. Add 2x times subtract 7 makes minus 14x. Combine your like terms, and we get our final answer for this problem f of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared minus 14x. This is our answer in standard form. Okay, one final thing before we call this video done. We want to make sure that we have made our polynomial have a degree of 3, and indeed we have. So since this is in standard form, we look at the highest exponent of x. That tells us the degree. Indeed, we see that it is 3. And when we're in factored form, we look at the degree of each factor being multiplied and add the degrees up. 1, 1, and 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. This gives us confidence that we solved this problem correctly. 